The question 7 is to solve polynomial equations by writing them in quadratic form and then factoring it out. Here you can see there are equations generally always more than power 3. There might be power 3 as well, but generally more than that. Um, what you need to do is write them in quadratic form. What is the quadratic form? It's ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, right? How can you write it? This is power 4, power 2. But you can see if you divide this by 2, divide this by 2, yes, you can. But we just can't divide the powers. But we will assume u to be x power squared. It's power 2. So what then happens? u squared will be x power 4, isn't it? So let's rearrange this and write. I'll clear this off. Now over here, u is x power 2. u squared will be x power 4. So it's minus 15 x power 4 becomes u power 2. Okay. And then plus 18 u minus 4. This is the first step. And now what is this u value? So let the square be. Now this is in quadratics. All I will do is instead of u, I will substitute x square, then power 2, plus over here 18, what is u? x square minus 4. This is the quadratic form. Now, obviously, you, I can tell you, write it in terms of, you know, x square 1, this, the power outside, but students get too confused, you know, get confused over here when you directly write this step. So if you write this step and then the step, you're more likely to get it as correct as possible. So that's why even over here, what I would generally prefer is u squared plus 2 u minus 8. And now I will write x squared the whole square. I'll put whatever is in u as brackets and then 2 whatever is u is in brackets minus 8 is equal to 0. So this is now in quadratic form. You can see that's the quadratic answer. And even over here, this is the quadratic answer. I hope this is clear. Now, they are just asked to write in quadratics. Okay, there are a few rules to remember as well. Now, this also can be written as quadratic. Only thing is u should be x cube. But look at this one. Can you write this in quadratic? u to be x square. But there is a rule which you must follow. These must be multiple, like multiplied by 2. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. This is not 4. You cannot write this in quadratic at all. It's not possible. But this is possible. I will write u power 2 plus 6 u, not x, u plus 7. Now u is considered to be x to the power 3. So I'll write it as x power 3 all square plus 6 into x power 3 plus 7. Now here, let me write it out. That's the answer. Okay, now what they have done is, don't worry, this is also correct answer only, but they have taken another two also common because you can write two cube over here instead of u, okay? But trust me, uh, this is enough, but now since it's an MCQ, what if this option is not there? So this is the correct answer. That's fine. I will tell you how we can realize. Look at this two. Two can be written as 2 into 2 squared. That 8 can be written as this is 8. How? 8 is basically 4 into 2 and you can write 2 squared into 2. So you can take this inside. Even over here, you can write 6 as what? 4. Sorry, you can write it as just 2 into 3. Okay. Now this 2 can be taken inside. And what you're writing is 2 over here. 2 squared outside, but it's 4 over here. So this becomes just 2 and Three. Now, if you're getting confused, don't worry. This is the correct answer. I'll tell you another shortcut for that. Now, if such problem, you wrote the quadratic form, but your answer is not there. Just take out your calculators. Write this equation. 8x power 6. This is the trial and error method which we used in the last problem. Over here, same thing. Power 3 plus 7. Calculate it at some value. I'll take 1.5. The answer is over here, 118.375. Now, all the options, whichever matches with this question is the correct one. Try it for all the options now. I will write 2 into 2x cubed, then close the bracket and square it up, plus 3 into 2x cubed, close the bracket, 
and lastly we have plus 7 now sorry calculated at 1.5 the answer is the same thing so this is the correct answer this is the trial and error method which you can use for these problems as well over here it is not at all possible because i told you it's not multiple of two two twos are four over here if it was four you can write in quadratic otherwise no otherwise this should have been three three times two is six so similarly you can solve these up you know writing in standard forms now here it gets a bit complicated not complicated as such you can see four times two is eight so how i would write is just write nine i'm not gonna you know constants i'll leave it as it is just this variable so i'll write it as x power four the whole power two 21 x power four plus 12 this is correct it's in quadratic so it's absolutely fine you can solve it and you will get the same answer as the above even over here it will be in terms of phi and phi but still i would prefer writing this as u and then writing it out because sometimes students mess up with this they write it as x squared the whole power phi or something like this and that wouldn't mean the correct answer but since it's in mcqs please look into the option and do the trial error methods also if you're getting confused now we have to solve these equations solving equations we have already done a while ago but this time there are imaginary numbers so imagine numbers a little bit hard why because you can't put them in the calculator there is no way you will get the answers so what happens is in such cases you have to do the quadratic form that is u is equal to x squared now write this in quadratics that will be u squared plus 6u plus 5 is equal to 0 now solve this up mode 5 and 3 in the calculator mode 5 and 3 and now type the coefficients it's 1 6 and lastly we have 5 that x is minus 1 and minus 5 so it's not x sorry u is minus 1 u is minus 5 so what is u exactly u is x squared and over here what do we have x squared is equal to minus 5 can we have x squared as minus 5 it is not possible to take the square root of negative numbers right so this means it's imaginary over here i can tell x is equal to square root plus or sorry minus one outside will be plus or minus right so what is square root negative one it's i plus or minus i and what about this x will be square root negative phi outside is plus or minus so x will be when you solve this it will be phi i plus or minus phi i because there is root phi and root minus 1 which is i so these are the answers so this is how we can solve it or you can write this in quadratic form and solve in calculator as well but it's too much work it becomes plus 1 is equal to 0 x squared plus phi is equal to 0 you'll get these answers now again you need to go to mode phi and 3 solve it up 1 there is no x term 0 and then it's 1 so answer is i and minus i and what about the other thing it is 1 0 and positive pi here you will have answer square root okay i just forgot to write the square root here guys don't forget that because square root of phi is a small number we just write it as square root phi itself square root phi i and minus phi i so these are the correct answers so that's how we can solve them up plus or minus i root phi and plus or minus i similarly you can solve these by yourselves over here you might get imaginary you may not get imaginary you can solve it if all answers are not at all imaginary then you can do the trial error method but otherwise here you need to solve it you need to take u you need to solve it up and then only you will get the correct answer now even over here it's the same thing but see here there is no imaginary number so you can try the trial error method but how will you know in the exam which is the correct answer there are four options you can try all the four options if you get the correct answer go with it otherwise you need to do this you uh, quadratic form solve it in the calculator and then get the answer so same thing over here and lastly over here so we you see you can see imaginary imaginary will be always conjugate it will be plus or minus and last problem same thing over here there is imaginary so if there is one imaginary one real it doesn't help you have to write this in quadratic form you don't need to write the simplified one directly you can write 24 u squared plus 14 u minus 3 
u is equal to x squared. Now solve whatever is u, you'll get some answers, right? Then take them as x squared and x squared, and then you can solve it. You can make it again into a square a quadratic form and solve it, or you can solve it directly in calculator. So that is the end of question seven. This is similar to the question six, so make sure you study both of them together. Be thorough in the previous question, then this one will be much easier.